and he found me there, splayed on the sheets, with nothing on and legs akimbo. My breasts were out to kiss the air. But if you'd been in that room, you'd see not a single thing, not an inch of flesh. Complete darkness was all that was laid out in front of me. A black silken sheet draped on every curve and sweep of me light over my sockets, heavy in how it sat on my chest. The way that darkness spreads down on my body, resting snugly on the tips of fingers and toes, It was not until his fingers made themselves known that I jolted back to life. And you can imagine it was a shock that whispered over and over as I was led to the edge of the cliff, as I stood there naked with only seagulls cracking up at the sight of a woman waiting for the wind to take her away. They told me, they told me then that it would be a monster who would have me. With no light in that room, it was the monster that I imagined. Great, big, heaving beast, mouth open, fangs wet at the sight of me there. A sight which even I couldn't see in the darkness of the bedroom. I heard the springs through the mattress, the squeeze and release of them as he moved closer to me lane with a pillow against my head. I had planned to kick out whatever monster may be like. I was sure that all comes out quick enough with the knee in the right location. My muscle tensed in the dark. Without anything to see there, it seemed they tensed even harder, coiled up in shaking rows, ready to spring out at whatever body part came close enough. but it had a hand on each ankle now. And had not yet kicked. He's kissed me there. And I had not 